Hello and welcome to MailTrap Videos, where we explore the world of emails. In this video, we'll show you how to use the EA Send Mail component in PowerShell to send individual emails. EA Send Mail is a powerful and easy to use component that enables sending email from .NET applications, including PowerShell scripts. After mastering the ins and outs of this component, you can then use it for mass email sending. If you want to learn how to send mass email in PowerShell, watch our dedicated MailTrap tutorial. As the first step, it's necessary to complete the EA Send Mail installation. For that, you must have the component downloaded and then double click it to initiate its installation process. In the wizard that pops up, accept the license agreement and choose an install location. Once the installation is complete, the EA Send Mail component manager will launch, which you can either explore or close and proceed. To test the functionality of the EA Send Mail component, we'll now write a simple email sending script for delivering individual messages. We start by loading the EA Send Mail DLL file, which should also be downloaded to your Mac or PC. Copy the DLL file path and save it in an accessible location. Then call the load file static method of the class assembly in the system.reflection namespace and pass it the file path. With that done, proceed to write the code for the send mail to function. This function will accept a few parameters, including sender, recipient name, recipient address, email subject, email body, and email format. Within the function body, first create a new instance of an object from the EA send mail namespace, specifically the SMTP mail class. The object creation is done by using the new object commandlet and passing a string argument. This argument should be your license code. In our case, we used the trial license code, try it. Then set the from email address by assigning it the value of the sender variable. For the recipient, you need to create a new object using the name and address variables. Then add the recipient's email address to your instance of the SMTP mail class object. To set your email subject, simply assign the value of the subject variable to the SMTP mail class's subject property. And to set the body of the email, create an if else statement that will use the HTML format variable you pass it. Depending on the variable's value, the email's HTML or plain text body will be set. As sending this email will require the usage of an SMTP server, create a new instance of the SMTP server object by calling its constructor and passing it the host address of the SMTP server you want to use. In our case, we are using an SMTP server offered by MailTrap email sending. For the SMTP server, you'll need to do some configuration by setting the username, password, port, and connection type. And you'll also need an instance of the SMTP client object to make the SMTP client perform the actual email sending and complete the send mail to function code, call the client's send mail method and pass it the SMTP server configuration as well as the email message you wish to send. With the send mail to function out of the way, you will then need to write a second function. We named the function send mail from PowerShell. For the function code, start off by specifying the sender, name, address, subject, and body. Then include a try catch block. Within the catch block, specify the message that will display if any error occurs. And within the try block, call the send mail to function and pass it all the necessary arguments. If your email is in plain text format, you could leave the last argument empty. After the try catch block, just finish off the function code by putting the closing bracket and then simply call the function. Finally, run the code and your email should land in the inbox of the specified recipient. And just like that, we've covered individual email sending in PowerShell via the EA Send Mail component. If you want to learn how to send via an API, an SMTP service, or how to send mass emails in PowerShell, links to those tutorials are waiting for you in the description. 
Thank you for watching this video brought to you by MailTrap, an email delivery platform to test, send, and control your email infrastructure in one place. Like and share this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to see more tutorials like this one. Don't forget to check out our other videos for more useful content on email deliverability. See you in the next one.